Hey, what is going on everybody? Hazard here. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to a brand new Red Dead Online video here today. In today's Red Dead Online video, I'm showing you guys how to get the legendary grizzly bear hat in Red Dead Online. If you guys know from the story, one of the missions you hunt a legendary grizzly bear, you go out with Jose and you kill this bear and you can get the hat. But you do also have to do some other hunting challenges and things like that. This method is a lot easier. All you guys need to do is force a gang hideout to spawn. There's really no real way to force it. I've had some theories, but I've debunked my own theories, so maybe I won't come out with a video on it after all. But you need a certain gang hideout to spawn to actually get this hat. Now, maybe I haven't looked, but if there are other gang hideouts involving other seeker hats from the story mode, then you may be able to get those essentially as well just by following the same process. I also do want to make it clear to you guys, I didn't find this out. I actually saw this from Outlaw Gary, so all credit and shout out goes to him. Really cool RDR2 YouTuber. But I think this this is awesome. I mean, having this bear hat is a really big deal in online, especially since you can't necessarily buy it from the general store. You can't get it from anywhere. So it's totally worth at least trying this out and seeing if you can get the gang hideout to spawn. But what you guys want to do is you guys want to, of course, go on to Red Dead Online and come to this location in their Cumberland Falls. This is where the gang hideout spawns. If you guys have ever ridden through here, there's like a machine gun, a turret, a maxim gun up here. There's a whole bunch of tents and wagons and boxes and crates and dynamite and things like that. And you just want to come to this location because that's where the gang hideout is. Honestly, I went to record this video and I went over here to the waterfall and I was just like screwing around over here. And then the gang hideout just spawned for me after I was here for maybe about five or so minutes just messing around in the water. A gang hideout spawned. So it was pretty good luck for me, but you guys can see the orientation on the map right here. So we're going to go there and we're going to get the legendary grizzly bear hat in Red Dead Online. Before I show you guys that though, how to get it, I do want to let you guys know I do have a gold bar giveaway here on the channel. So if you guys want to win some free gold bars in Red Dead Online, all you guys need to do to enter the giveaway is subscribe to the channel, drop a like on today's video, comment down below letting me know what you guys would spend with those gold bars if you guys were to win, as well as check out the gleam.io link down in the description to officially enter. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and let's get into this. We have the gang hideout we need to do in the midst right here. You guys just want to complete this gang hideout. I actually need to swap some of my weapons here, put on the bolt action. I kind of want to use the Lichfield this time. I usually use the Lancaster in my videos. Today we are going to use the Lichfield repeater. I apologize for it being nighttime as well in the game. This is just when the gang hideout happened to spawn. But nonetheless, here we go. It's time to start just blowing everything up. Start killing all the NPCs. I mentioned this in my live streams, and I want to know your guys' thoughts and opinions down in the comments section below. I would love to see more hostile NPC spawns in this game. I mean, we have a few. We have the gang hideouts. We have the ambushes. But other than that, we don't have that many. Like, there needs to be some other type of thing that we can do. Be it just hostile NPC groups traveling on horses or something. I think that would be pretty cool. This guy's on a turret. Hold up, buddy. This guy is on a turret. And we're about to die. I'm just trying to not... Dude. There's too much going on. I'm about to die as well. Hold up. I want to make sure we don't... I don't know if dying will ruin this, this method to actually... Oh, shit! If we die, the bodies may disappear. That's the thing. So I do not want to die. Let's get him. Okay, good. No! Oh my god, hold up. Are the bodies gonna disappear? Dude, I think the bodies are gonna disappear. Nope, they're still good. Okay, alright. We will continue onwards since we seem to have beaten the odds. So we just gotta wait. And we're gonna kill the rest of these people. There's a few more people left to kill. This guy up there on the turret's really pissing me off. Dude, for some reason, what the heck is going on? My dead eye wasn't working. There we go. We got him. All right. We don't have to worry about that anymore. Let's just kill these last few people. Dude, I suck at aiming. <laughs> awesome. And we will also... Is it the leader who has the bear hat? It is the leader who has the bear hat. So we need to kill the leader, unfortunately. That's going to tank our honor, but it honestly doesn't matter. This is the guy. The gang hideout leader has the hat. Now, what you want to do is... You do not want a shotgun his head. That was going to be my first reaction was to blow his head off, but that'll apparently make the bear hat despawn. So what you want to do is you want to pick up the leader, and when you do that, the bear hat should fall right off his head, which it seems to have done that. And so now, 
We just want to go over to where the hat is, and we want to pick it up. And here we go. It was kind of blending in with the ground, but we got it now. We were able to get the bear hat in Red Dead Online. This is awesome. Again, really cool. We're going to do a stranger mission playing as this guy. We're going to also loot these bodies. The only downside is, oh, look at that. General reward. 1,000 bodies looted. We are going to now reset this reward because we got the belt buckle, which is great. We are going to reset that, and we're going to get some extra gold nuggets from that, which is fantastic. The one bad thing that I do want to talk to you guys about in this video about this bear hat is that, unfortunately, you cannot save it as an outfit because it isn't a hat that you've technically collected. Um, there's another way to do this I'm not going to show you guys because it does involve buying the Crips um, outfitter outfit, which is like... 10 gold bars, which is basically $3. I just don't want to spend the gold bars I have. I have 92 gold bars. If you guys aren't aware, Rockstar is giving away free gold bars and Red Dead Online. Um, all you guys need to do is log in by January uh, 27th at night to actually unlock five gold bars. They'll have it in your account by January 29th at the latest. So you definitely want to hop on that right away. So this bear hat's pretty cool, but you cannot save it as an outfit, which is the downside of it. I wish you could. Because I look awesome, Mr. Mountain Man, with the beard and everything. I think this hat looks great. I use it in the story as well. I liked hunting the legendary bear and then going for the rest of the outfit objectives to actually unlock this hat and the rest of the legendary like grizzly bear outfit. It was pretty sweet. But like I said, I want to do a stranger mission with this outfit on, just showing you guys the bear hat. Just some gameplay of the secret but lootable and very rewarding bear hat in this game. So thank you guys so much for watching, and let's check out the stranger mission. Today's objective is to be on the hunt and hunt and deliver the bear's pelt. Very fitting for this video. I did this mission purposely. I was hoping Angus would have an on the hunt mission for us, since we are so close and so nearby his objective. And it seems like we have found him. So, we are going to do this right now. I mean, you guys can see on the map as well. It's like, the gang hideout was here. And then I just traveled up the road, did the mission for him, and we're going to travel right here. And I think we're going to need to deliver this to Valentine, if I'm not mistaken. I've done this exact mission on live stream too. This is the one stranger mission, like, during the mission itself where it glitches out. That's why I'm not a huge fan of doing the on the hunt missions, because it involves you... Like, right now, what I'm doing right now, currently in this video, is... This mission is set up with three clues, and you need to find each and every clue... It's kind of like finding a treasure map, your controller vibrates and you're going to look around, you're going to use your eagle vision and your eagle eye and just essentially try and find the clue. So as you can see, the clue is the gold tracks right there and it's this wagon, it's a dead horse, the bear ate the horse which is crazy. It looks like this wagon, this dude was like repairing a wagon or something, it's on like posts. Yeah, the dude was in the middle of repairing this thing and his horse died. So what you want to do is you want to focus on the clue, oh it's actually on him that we need to do. Focus on the clue. If we can, doesn't seem like it wants to. See, you can already see it's bugging out for us. Sometimes the clues just don't spawn, which is the craziest thing. But you just want to inspect it, and we're going to do this two more times. And on the third one, it's actually going to tell us to go find the bear. You can also follow the tracks from this area. Usually you can see like a trail of where the next clue is going to be. Um, if you're lucky, that's what I've noticed sometimes. But it's not always like that, I don't think. Maybe it's just a placebo effect that with me... I've seen trails stemming from the clue, but this is the next clue right here. This was like totally by accident found the next clue. So we're going to inspect this, and this is going to go by quicker than I thought, which is nice. So but as you guys can see, it's bugging out. Every time I try to inspect these things, it bugs out. On live stream, though, when I did this, funny enough, like I said, the clue didn't even spawn. It was the last one I was doing this with um, one of my YouTube mods and then some random viewer and the clue just didn't spawn. We needed to find the last clue and nothing happened, which kind of sucks. So we kind of did the whole mission for nothing. And, you know, the countdown timer was still going, but we couldn't find the clue. We couldn't find the bear. And it was just sad. So if we can find this last one, my controller was vibrating a second ago. So usually what you want to do is just kind of travel around the perimeter. And you'll notice, like, the controller will vibrate at first. Oh, okay, see. And if you don't find it after a while, it'll actually reveal the clue on your map very quickly. And it will be like up here. Um, not always up here, but it'll show you where the clue is. And this is the last one right here, it looks like. So we're going to do that. If you get too close to this thing, it doesn't let you do it. So we're going to inspect him. And after this one, we're going to be able to hunt this bear, which is exactly what we're going to be doing. We have some good weapons in our inventory. We have 
the bolt action rifle and the Litchfield repeater. I think we're gonna try and take this guy down. Let's see if we can take him down with a rolling block rifle. Let's see if we can take this guy down with a headshot with a rolling block rifle. This is gonna be honestly pretty hard, but I think we can do it. I think it could be a one shot too. I don't know if this is gonna be like guaranteed one shot, but I bet we can do it. That was not a headshot. So we're just going to have to... Uh-oh. He's upset. He's upset. That's three. Oh my god, dude. No, my bear hat. Dude, he knocked my bear hat off. Oh my god. I think I killed him, though. Wait a second. Hold up. Dude. Oh, I killed him. He's dead. Now he's definitely dead after getting shot in the head. That's what you get for knocking my bear helmet off. I hope we... Yes! It is still lootable. It didn't despawn. So that's really good to know. That's interesting. You can't save this thing as a outfit. This bear hat as an outfit. But you can save it as a lootable item, essentially. Like, it... You know, I figured once it got knocked off my head, it would despawn. But it turns out that is not the case. Which is fantastic. So let's go and loot this bear and bring him back to wherever we need to go. I'm going to assume we need to bring him to Valentine, but maybe we bring him right back to Angus. We'll see. Maybe even Strawberry. Strawberry may be the, the closer objective. We need to bring it to Wallace Station. Okay, so right back to um, Angus. That's good to know. Sometimes it has you go into all different locations. Like Sean McGuire, he makes you go, I think, to Valentine. Um, if you do his hunting missions down in Blackwater. I don't know. It's it's usually different every time. But this is good. We can go right back to Wallace Station. I just wanted to bring you guys this video because it's awesome having this bear hat. Again, shout out to Outlaw Gary for kind of coming out with this video and showing us this aw awesome method to actually get this bear hat. I just wish Rockstar would allow us to save it. I'm going to try as well after this video to see if it works. And I'll let you guys know down in the comments if it does work. If you can save it as an outfit. He said he, you can't save it on your outfits. Um... And I'm going to assume you can't as well. But I want to try just for myself. Just to see. Because I will rock this on some certain outfit that I have in the game if possible. I also hope it doesn't despawn after I bring this thing back. So let's hand it in. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys all have a fantastic day. Again, if you guys want to enter that free gold bar giveaway. Get more gold bars and Red Dead Online. All you guys need to do is enter my giveaway by checking out the Gleam.io link down in the description. Subscribing to the channel. Dropping a like on today's video. As well as letting me know down in the comments what you guys would spend with those gold bars. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys all have a fantastic day. And I'll see you guys in the next Red Dead Online video. Adios amigos.